right above. Oh, I'm going to the city, and it's set on a hill. And someday I'll be in heaven, and there'll be no sorrow there. Oh, I'm going. Hello, everybody. I'm just doing a an update here. This is Susan Puzio, and I'm doing an update on the Paula White, Jonathan Cain wedding. Uh, as you know, that Paula White, she was married to Randy White, and they pastored a church in Tampa, Florida called Without Walls that went bankrupt. Also, the Without Walls in Lakeland, Florida that went bankrupt, and she divorced Randy in 2007 and made her way over to New Destiny Christian Center after the death of Zachary Timms. And now she pastors or pesters there in um, Apopka, Florida. So on April 25th and 26th, she married a former rock and roller who, I guess at 65, I don't know if she can still be a rock and roller, but anyway, she married Jonathan Cain, um, who was with the rock band Journey and some other rock and roll bands. And man, this is his third marriage, and I think it's her third marriage. And uh, Jonathan Cain was married for over 20 years and had three beautiful children. And uh, I don't know when he divorced his uh, wife. Uh, Maybe it was 2012 or something around that time. But kind of seems like a rebound thing for Jonathan Cain, which is, that's not his real name. I, I don't know how to correctly pronounce his real name. I don't know if it's Friga or it's an Ital- it seems like an Italian name anyway, but uh, so he supposedly met Paula White on an airplane and it was love at first fright or whatever, but he claims that he didn't know anything about her. He had to look her up on the internet, but apparently he didn't do enough research about Paula White because uh, if he had and uh, he might have found out some things that uh, about Paula's uh, scamming and fleecing uh, religious scam artist and uh, number one one of the number one female fleecers uh, scripture twisters in uh, so-called Christian dumb, but of course it isn't Christian dumb. It's called building a financial kingdom, but all those things will fall, just like uh, Randy and Paula took a great fall when their properties were uh, sold at auction, and uh, without walls in Tampa had to file for bankruptcy. So that's not success. That's failure. Uh, I don't care how rich Paula claims to be currently. Uh, If you're so rich, you don't have a birthday party at your church. Uh, They had a birthday party for her a week before the wedding, the the second wedding, which they claim they got married in Ghana sometime last year for number one wedding. But so far we haven't seen a picture or a marriage certificate for that wedding And then they had a a number two wedding, which was a private affair for her family and friends on the 25th of April. And then on the 26th of April, they had their Kool-Aid and cake wedding at New Destiny Christian Center. But I, I thought... Something was interesting uh, at this birthday party the week before when Paula was sitting on the platform with Jonathan and she had her 
pastors in training, which I didn't see one female uh, there. It was all males, and they were all calling her mother and practically bowing down to her. Uh, it it was very weird. It was very uh, reminiscent of how people treat cult leaders. And meanwhile, Jonathan's sitting there taking it all in, and I'm thinking, like, what is wrong with this man? This is a 65-year-old man, a successful businessman, uh, who currently is in the wine business, so... That's a little odd, but anyway, um, what is he thinking? Uh, what man would sit through some kind of a uh, birthday celebration like that, listening to people calling his wife mother, a 49-year-old woman, uh, grown men with wives and children, calling some woman mother and talking about one man was practically crying because of his love for Paula and how much she's done for him. But it was very, very weird, very strange. And uh, then they also had people bring her birthday gifts. Now, if you're supposedly a multimillionaire, which Jonathan Cain is supposed to be very, very wealthy, and Paula, like, why do you have poor people? Some of, most of them are probably on food stamps and welfare, and you have them bringing you birthday presents uh, and telling people that you like shoes. I like, she likes shoes, and she likes expensive shoes, and um, she's starting a shoe company, so. She tells the people after they bring money up to her that she's going to use the money to start her shoe company. Now, it's all very ridiculous. Uh, So I'm wondering what is wrong with this man, Jonathan Cain. Uh, Very strange. So they they have this wedding, number two wedding, which there looked like there was probably 100 or 150 people at this wedding family and T.D. Jakes. But, of course, T.D. Jakes was in town because he was having a leadership conference. So they they seemed to arrange the wedding around the time when he would be there anyway because, it, you know, if you're going to invite T.D. Jakes to your wedding, you have to pay for him to fly there. You have to pay for his plane and whatever else. So I don't think he just comes to weddings and he pays his own way to come to your wedding. So they had the wedding around the time of this supposed leadership conference that he was having in Orlando, which Paula was not invited to as a speaker. He later invited her to take up an offering. So um, anyway, uh, the people, most of the people from the church were not invited to this wedding, which was a lavish affair at a... Uh, spot there and it looked like somewhere in Orlando at uh, maybe a country club or something like that uh, with with fine food and wine and entertainment and so uh, that was not open to the family at New Destiny. Uh, the next night uh, at 6 o'clock they uh, brought Paula and Jonathan in and she came in in her wedding gown and uh, they had cake and punch out in the lobby uh, for the people there, the family there at New Destiny uh, who supports her lifestyle and gives her birthday money and whatever. So they had to stand up and eat their cake and drink their punch in the lobby. Uh, so that was the wedding that they gave their family over there at New Destiny also, uh, they had a video clip of um, Paula and Jonathan standing up on the platform on Sunday night, and they had people coming up. Uh, they introduced his his family was there, his brothers. Uh, I didn't see his daughters. He has two daughters. I didn't see them. 
uh, I don't think they were there. Um, I don't know for sure, but when they announced his family, his son came up. He looks, his son looks like maybe he's 21 or 18, something like that. And uh, his son came up, and his brother came up, and the son definitely was drinking the Pola White Kool Aid because the son says, "Now imagine this: like he, he, his mother was married to uh, his father for over 20 years, and and he says that he's never seen his father happier. Wow, that that was a smack in the face to his mother, and." Uh, and he was, oh, I've known, I just met Paula three months ago, and oh, she's made such an impact on my life. And I'm thinking, wow, I don't, I don't know which woman. There's two Paulas apparently. There's the the religious scam artist Paula, and then there's this other Paula that they know. But I don't think that they've looked at her, watched her television program, and watched her constantly scamming people for money with. Uh, phony Passover offerings and resurrection seed offerings and atonement offerings and she sells miracles and she sells financial blessings and she she peddles the gospel for her own gain. So I don't I don't know uh, if they ever saw Paula in action. I know Jonathan has. So uh, I don't I don't know which Paula the son was talking about. And then the brother gets up and he says. He was drinking the Paula White Kool-Aid, too, and he says that, oh, she's so sweet, and they're soulmates. Well, a sweet person does not scam people in the name of Jesus, a sweet person. Sweet people do not do things like that. No, they they don't do things like that. So uh, apparently the brother hasn't looked at any of her television programs or Maybe he didn't see the birthday celebration with the grown men calling uh, his sister-in-law mother and practically crying. Uh, That's how people behave when they're talking about their cult leader, not when they're talking about their pastor. So it was all very odd. Uh, I don't know how long this marriage will last. Uh, I think that Maybe this man will wake up. Uh, I've never heard him make a confession of faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. I've heard him talk about God, but I've never heard him mention the name of Jesus. I've never heard him uh, share his testimony of his conversion. So I don't know if he's born again or not. I really don't know. Um, I, I haven't heard from his own mouth, from what I've seen. Now, I'm not, I haven't seen everything that he has said or testified to. But anyway, these are my observations, and uh, you can see more information, of course, on the Internet about the Paula White, the, her third wedding, uh, and Jonathan Cain. So we'll see what the future holds, but uh, just be careful with Paula White and uh, don't buy her false teachings and uh, her false gospel. Um, Pray for this man and uh, pray for her too, that they both get saved and come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, the only one that can save you and heal you and deliver you and lead you into all truth. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to a city that's set on a hill. Its ruler and maker is the Lord God above. Oh, I'm going to a city and it's set on a hill. 